Hey, so this is for Ruby June. Um, she wanted to know more about the steam chamber. Once the silk is rolled up in a tube, it's on a, just a regular cardboard tube, and I stack the silk and the paper and the silk and the paper, and then I roll it up. Then I have this little thing that my father made years and years and years ago. It's just a little wire basket at the bottom on a copper tube, and then I slide the silk roll onto that. And that little wire basket at the bottom keeps the silk from falling off this tube and into a pot of boiling water. The lid is just a regular pot lid that we have a little hook welded into. The hook goes through this hole. And you definitely want to make sure this is not going to fall off. You got to like check and double check. So we've got this now. And then this is the steam chamber. This is a double wall stove pipe with a thermometer stuck in a hole that we drilled. The ceiling is a little bit short, so I have to tip the thing over. But I slide the tube shoulder. I slide the tube down in there and the lid fits on the top right into that chamber and now this pot of water I'll light this fire here it's my propane tank and then I um, I'm actually gonna have to get my friend to help me because my shoulder hurts so bad but um, I lift this steam chamber and put it right on top of that and in, in the bottom of this there's a um, a ring a silicone ring that Quill made he uh, milled it out on a machine that fits exactly on top of that pot and the, the point is to get steaming water to come up into this tube but no droplets no drips of water nothing because the silk is still there, vulnerable to water if it gets one drop it's going to go through every piece and you'll have a like repeating spot every three inches it's a nightmare so you have to have it perfectly hanging in the center perfectly hanging over that pot and then i um get it up to 212 steam it for 212 and that's the whole thing it can't just be like get to 212 and you start timing you have to get Think about the paper has to be 212, the tube and the interior, all the layers of silk all bound up tightly. It takes a while for it to get up to temperature. So I usually let it go for about two hours and then turn it all off and then take it out. And then all of the silk that's rolled up inside of there is going, will have the dye molecularly bonds to the fibers. The dye that I use is a fiber reactive is what they call it. And at that point I can wash it, iron it, make clothes out of it. You can wash and iron the clothes. I like this jumper I have on. I've been through the washing machine, you know, multiple times. You don't really have to wash silk that much unless you get your stinky, stinky armpits. It likes to hold onto scent, but um, you know, if it's not going in there, you can uh, pretty much wear it all until you get it funky and then you gotta wash it. And I'm gonna, ow, my God, my shoulder. That's all I'm gonna say. That's how it works, bye.